Hi guys, we're back in Trisha's room and finally, hopefully, I'm able to open this this music music box. Yep. What do we have here? A note. Dear Trisha, as I come to know about my birth parents, I realize everything. Now I understand why Father Matthew was against us seeing each other. He was right. We should not be together. Please believe me when I say I didn't kill your mother. I've never lied to you and I never will. I don't know who killed Vivian. Hopefully the truth will come to light someday. There's so much that I want to tell you, but I can't at this moment. I pray the day when I can express everything to you will come quickly. All I can say now is that I'm sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. Please forgive me. Sincerely, Scott. And why can't you tell her? There's no obvious reason why you can't. It just isn't. Now would be the perfect time to tell her. Don't make it a mystery. Just tell her already. Just... Don't treat her like she's a child. And I can't help but feel like they are trying to shield Trisha because she's a young girl who can't take the, the truth. I just don't see it working the other way around. If Trisha had found out there would be no reason not to tell Scott, right? So, poor Trisha. She's too fragile to know the truth. Okay, so uh, let's... <laughs> let's forget about Trisha for a moment and go check out the, uh, the gate. We should have the right key, right? And yay! So, why did they put up the walls around this gate? Was this an early entrance to the estate back in the day? And then they sealed it off after Sophia was killed to hide the truth because I have a feeling this is the uh, yeah this is the path from the city that we can't enter or the town I should say yeah I'm just gonna check the uh, surrounding area a rope so we're supposed to climb down, I guess. Okay, we slope. Uh, right. It's empty. Well, I mean, there's no water, but there's something down there. What is that? I really can't see what it is. Oh. Oh, and we got an achievement here lies Sophia. So, it's a medallion. And it's got a date on it. 0526. Is that her birthday? hard to see or five to six yeah that's not when Scott was born so maybe it's her birthday but are you telling me this medallion has been down here for decades 
Maybe. It's it's just weird that Scott never found it when he found the body. Right, let's see if this key goes to the sewer. It should. Oh yeah. Oh god, the sounds down here. And which way do we choose? Uh, I'm just gonna... Uh... Is this... Oh yeah. I don't know where to go. And this is nasty. Look. What are we... Is this water? I, I hope... No one's been using this for a long time, right? Right. I hate the sounds in here. Wow, well, it sounds like I'm banging on the door. God, the sounds. There's nothing there. Why would there be boxes down here? Cardboard boxes. I don't... I don't get it. Yeah. I don't like this. I... I really don't like this. Ugh. And who's... been powering up this place? No, I'm not knocking on the door. Forget it. <laughs> uh, another crossroad? I hate that because I'm gonna get so lost. So freaking lost. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep to the right. I, I tend to do that when there's options. Because it's easier to go uh, to backtrack. If you could experience the sounds the way I do in game, oh my god, uh, you would really, really not be relaxed at this very moment. Exit? Um. Yeah, well, that's not going to help us. Where are we? We kept to the right from the entrance. That should mean the hospital, right? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, the morgue, we're in the basement. Okay. Yeah, these are not gonna be... Yeah, we can't open them. That's what I thought. Just... To... Hang on. Hang on. Oh no. BH? Is that Bernard? And if... Oh, yeah, that's for Steven. Steven Moss. Was he killed here? This blood spatter on the floor. God, I hate this. I feel like someone is breathing down my neck. He found something here, right here, and got killed. That's not cool. I called Dorothy last week. She told me something interesting about Sophia. It was a puzzle that she received from Matthew when she first started working at the mansion. Sort of a birthday gift for her. In that puzzle, Sophia was to visit both hers and Matthew's favorite location in Paints Creek. 
In each location lies a clue that Matthew had written on the wall of the building exterior. The clues, when put together, will point to will point her to the location of her gift. I thought that was a neat idea. Sophia's favorite places: Anne's Courtyard Inn, bridge over the stream by the gate entrance, post office. Post office. Why would someone like the post office? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And where can I find Matthew's favorite places? Oh, hang on. Didn't he say something about that in one of his journals? Yeah, he did. He said the church, of course. And then where was he eating with Sophia? Um, the cafe next to the inn and then hang on let's see the uh, the bookstore so now we know all six favorite places awesome I received an anonymous telegram this morning it said that Scott wasn't Vivian's killer Unfortunately, that's all I got. I had my doubts whether Scott really killed Vivian. He sure had the motive, but upon reading all his diaries and looking through his investigation notes, I can't help but think that Scott didn't kill Vivian. On the contrary, he was trying to find out who killed Vivian, as well as what really happened to Andrew Reed and Dr. Johnson. Actually, he wasn't. He was trying to find out who killed Sophia. I never heard him... He never mentioned anything about trying to figure out the whole murder case. Okay, I still don't know if this anonymous person is a man or a woman, but it did help solidify my thoughts on Scott. Yeah, well, that's how anonymous tips work, right? You don't know who it is. I received another telegram yesterday telling me to look into Bernard, the mansion's butler. Really? I can't help but feel that this person is trying to tell me something, but not exactly what. The telegram said I will find something in the house. In Bernard's house? Okay. Today I received a key in the mail with the initials BH. Does it stand for Bernard's house? Yeah, well, or Bernard Hopkin. So we're definitely told to go to Bernard's house. I searched everywhere and read all of Bernard's diaries. Something just doesn't add up. Maybe it's just a hunch or simply that I'm thinking too much. But would he have really killed Vivian? No, I don't think so. However, there's something else in his diaries that made me wonder if he was indeed a murderer. I photographed all the pages. Can we find your photographs? So, wow, for once we can actually enter a room without a key. Hmm. But, yeah, cardboard boxes, that's it. Hey, hello. That's exactly what we need, I think, for opening the drawer. Uh, was it Wanda's house? Yes, I think it was. Still need to open that drawer. We've got lots to do, so let's move on. I hate this place. Now, let's see if we can. So if this 
is just to turn on now. I'm gonna freak out. It is. Damn it. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously creeped out now. I, I can feel the goosebumps starting on my feet. Creep crawling up. I, I'm literally, literally creeped out. Yeah. And this is not an accident that the power was off. Oh god, I'm so, so freaked out. The thing is, we need to find, um, the, 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 what was it? The doctor's office? I don't remember. There was a room where we could use this electronic key, key card. There, there it is. Okay, let's see. So, was this Dr. Johnson's office? There were two doctors that I know of. Oh, dear Dr. Henry Johnson, I would like to thank you for your contribution to the Paints Creek Community Hospital and the people of Paints Creek for the past two decades. However, there are reports regarding mishandled funds at the hospital, most of which came from the Robert's Relief Funds to support your medical supplies and equipment purchases. Since the total sum is calculated to be almost $160,000, we have no other choice except to do an open investigation. Until you're able to explain the discrepancy between your accounting and ours, I have no choice but to suspend all funding for the hospital for the time being. I wonder though, this feels like it could be a blackmail setup, but it sort of isn't. But he was in trouble. What did he do about that? Are we supposed to think that she could have been killed by him? Because... Oh, hello. Is that Trisha's room? I think it is. I sincerely feel like that's a weak motive. Because she wasn't the only one who knew about that. To Charles Roberts. I don't know if it's a joke that you sent me the threat letter. But if you knew about the well, then you must have found out the truth. Just so you know, your wife was the one behind all of it. If you have any grudge, it's with her, not me. I was just a witness in Sophia's death. Nothing more. You won't fax it with that post-it on it, right? So he never did. Hmm. I, I don't think he did, at least. So Charles knew about Sophia. Seriously? Oh yeah, I know what you did. Meet me by the well at midnight. You know which one. Come along. So he got... I... Hang on. Did Vivian get a, co a copy of this? We, we already... No, wait a second. That was Stephen Moss having a picture of it. Right, so... Henry, I just received a letter from the NMB investigation firm regarding the use of the RRF funds. I need you to call me. Henry, we really need to talk. Please call back. What's going on, Henry? Why aren't you returning my calls? This is really important. So this is... Where Trisha spent her last days? Oh, damn. For once we found something telling us how someone was killed. 
Scott's body was found behind a bush on Maple Drive. The police are currently investigating the case. November 16th. So he was killed late in 95. Hang on. That that doesn't make sense at all. It says 96 on his gravestone. That doesn't make sense. Why would they I mean, even if an autopsy takes time and all, the gravestone would say the time of death, right? So why doesn't that line up? That's the second gleaming error I find in this game, but anyway. Police unsure if events are tied to the killing of Vivian Roberts. Scott Brooks, the murder suspect on the Vivian Roberts case, was killed yesterday. His body was found on the roadside along Maple Drive. At around 6.50 a.m., a jogger happened to see a body lying motionless on the side of the road behind the bush while doing his morning run. He stopped to check if the person needed help, only to notice that the body was covered in blood. He immediately called 911. The police arrived shortly at around 7 a.m. and victim was pronounced dead. The time of death was predicted to be about 4 to 6 hours ago, putting the time of death between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Questions have been raised pertaining to the murder of Vivian Roberts, especially since Scott was released from prison. But hey, it says he was found with multiple stab wounds to the heart. So stab wounds would in indicate either a knife or a screwdriver or something, right? So just gonna try to rem remember that. But I, um, I really, really hate it when a game can't figure out the correct date and time of the events because that makes it so much harder to deduce what's important and what's not it's like the Andrew killing all over again because it said he was killed he was buried in September, but the paper says June, and then we have diaries stating it happened in March. They were went to his funeral in March. That's that's freaking ridiculous. Sorry, I can't. I can't know for sure what the real issue is when when the dates are so so wrong. Okay, I'm done with my rant for the day, guys. <laughs> I think we'll check the diary next time. So, take care and thanks for watching. <laughs>